Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound, part 13. I am Ultima Mantoid, and we are going after the Mighty Bear. We will engage the Mighty Bear. So let's bash, and uh, let's go for a prayer. 73 to the Mighty Bear. Very subtle light engulfed Nina and Paula. And it doesn't do anything! Uh, 28 HP of damage to Paula. It was over half her HP, but we can take care of this mighty bear, and he's not dead. So, obviously, uh, Nez, you need to step up your game some. Actually, what do they need for levels up? 563. That's not bad. We can handle that. We'll go after this bear again. Stop, bear. We will engage the mighty bear. Uh, let's pray this time, see what happens. In before something bad. Ooh, dazzling light. Oh, wait, never mind. That's the one that cr- Oh, man. And it doesn't do any friggin' good. Sure, why not? Mighty Bear used to biting attack and misses. You know, because it's what he always does. I'll just have her pray because she won't be doing anything useful now. Rainbow colored light shown into the area. What the? Oh, I know what the rainbow colored light does. That actually revives fallen party members. So yeah, prayer is very useful, but it can also backfire. As you saw, I got teary-eyed. The tears, they flow freely from the face. PSI Caramel. I, no, don't open it again, Ness, you tard. Uh, PSI Caramel are useful. We'll give it to Paula. Uh, what they do is they increase your PP by 20, as in you get 20 more PP. Since we should uh, get a level up on Paula this time, let's go ahead and beat up the Mighty Bear again. Whoa! Go Paula! And he retaliates, but it's on Ness, so that's fine. Because Ness can take it like a boss. Ooh, Paula is now 12. HP went up by six. Sweet. Uh, let's go ahead and life up. No. We'll feed you the croissant, Ness. Use Ness. How much more do you need, Ness? 273. We can do that. It's a Mr. Batty. It's cohort. We need to get rid of the bear first, so I'll do just that. Uh, okay, well, Paul is the one that solidified, so that's alright. Those bears are pretty dangerous, but they're not too dangerous. Like, they're not overly... Did not work on this. Thank God it didn't work. I think I'm going to ask change it from strawberry text when I can, because um, I'm now getting to the point where I've got multiple party members, so if I die and everything turns pinkish, it will be less confusing, so I may go with the banana flavored text uh, status box soon, so. Alright, this is now 21. Okay, that wasn't a bad... I mean, that was... Wasn't a bad level up. That was a pretty bad level up. It's like, oh, you got four, five stat points. That's it. Alright, let's go ahead and beef up Ness here. We'll be alright, I think. Alright, let's do this. 
You finally got here. This is the second your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. And yes, yes I do dare, Mr. Mondo Mole. Giant overgrown mole rat, or just mole, or whatever the hell you are. Um, he's actually weak to, it's either paralysis or flash. Either way, one of the two will actually render him completely, like, derp for the rest of the fight, meaning he can't do anything. He just lays there and twitches like an idiot. But I'm going to do this the hard way, so we're going to shield Paula. And we'll open up with a PSI freeze alpha just to test the waters and see how much damage this thing does. Because if it does a lot of damage, I'll blitz him up with... Oh, God! Offensive alpha? Ooh, not good. 8 HP. Okay, he's highly resistant to um, freeze if that's the case. So let's go ahead and shield Ness as well. Let's see what fire does. Thirty-two, not bad, but that's kind of pricey for the damage that it does. Uh, so let's go ahead and bash. Let's see what we can do with thunder. And you miss. Good job. And he heals himself back up to full HP anyway. Oh, nice! Thunder hits her 126! There's our spell of choice right there. Even though it's very inaccurate, that's what we need to cast on him. Nope. Animus. Fifteen to Ness. That's not bad. Now, these shields will hold up either for the duration of one smash or um, three hits. So, it's uh, all dependent upon luck. And we missed again. Come on, Ness! Uh, you guys need to hit better. He's going to heal himself. Yeah, I'd heal myself too if I got hit by thunder like that. And another thunder. Only 63 that time. Ooh, 107 on that recovery. And Thunder Alpha did not hit anyone. No! Oh, good! I just had to go for a bash. I was not about to go and try and get Thunder. Screw that. Alright, we need to disable that Psychic Shield, or Paula is useless. So, let's hope Thunder hits here. Nope. Missed. And another shield! Thunder Alpha. Go for it. Come on, hit! Nope. Come on, Paula! Mmm, that hurt. Let's go for uh, life up here. Uh, this is a pretty intense fight, actually, because Paula's so low level when you get here. Unless you spend the time leveling up. And there goes the Psychic Shield! Thank you, Thunder. <sighs> Putting the pressure on. His offense is going up again. Come on, hit him with it this time. No, come on, Paula. Uh, 34. Shield disappeared. Oh, this is a tough call. Shield or heal? Let's life up, and then we'll shield. Nope, and a miss. Ugh, come on! Stop that! Shield on Paula. You've got to hit with thunder this time. Come on, Paula. I don't want to have to break out the, uh... PSI Caramel already. Alright, 136. Psychic Shield again. It may not matter, so... Um, might as well go ahead and try and wear that thing off, because I've only got 3 PP left. Oh god, I beat him! I thought he still had like a truck ton of HP. Nice! Paula's level is now 13. HP up by 3. Paula's up 14! And HP up by 3 again. Awesome. Well, there's one mole down. Whew. That was getting close. Hey, that's tiny little feet.
Ness briefly had a vision of a baby in a red cap. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the Lilliput steps. So we now have two. So let's uh, check our soundstone out. Alright, so we've got two now. Just need to pick up the other six. And of course, now that we've beaten Mondo Mole, everything runs away. So we will take the easy way out of here. That's got no baddies on it. I if the baddies would move out of our way. Okay, Mr. Baddie, we're going to ignore you if you don't move. Thank you. So let's make sure we have everything out of this dungeon now that uh, we have beaten it. Run, bear! Run! Uh, yeah, it's actually, that's a dead end. So I'm loving it. You know, when you kill the boss, they all just run away. They're like, fuck this! <laughs> you almost ran into me, stupid bat. What are you trying to do? Get yourself killed? Huh? You like that? It's like you quit hitting yourself. Quit hitting yourself. So this is the cave of the Lilliput Steps. Are you kidding me? Oh, and we got all of our stats back, so I guess it doesn't matter. We'll bash, and we'll just do, um, Fire Alpha. Might as well finish him off. Batty A is gone. Batty B is gone. And Batty C is... Oh, I'm sorry, they're not gone. They're going to be hurt, though. Tonight's beverage is the same thing that it's been pretty much for most nights. It is sweet tea with, uh, just a hint of lemonade added in. I don't know why, but that is, like, a delicious combination. Like, take a beverage, and then make it, like, 75% sweet tea, and then add, uh, like, just a small bit of lemonade. And, uh, it actually comes out to be really delicious. It's very sweet, so if you don't like sweet things, you won't like this. But, how about... Yeah, run. We'll get you. And you're gone. And we get a surprise round, so might as well take the opportunity and just bash its brains in. Man, that was pressure, though. I mean, he was plus six offense. I could have easily bit the dust to the mole at that point. It just sucks that he's, uh, you know, resistant to ice. What was that anti-blue place like? Was it scary? A little bit. Did you see a huge mole like I've heard lives there? Why, yes. Yes, I did. I wonder if I say no. You seem to thrive in places like that. Well, you see, when you're me... Everything runs away. I will withdraw... 70. And let's use one dollar to talk to Dad. Ness, it's your dad. I deposited $1,354 in your bank account. We have twenty nine seventy four. Uh, record, please. Yes, Dad. You say the same thing every time. Hmm. Croissant. We'll give this to Paula, and we'll buy another croissant, and we'll give it
give it to Paula. And we'll buy one more croissant. There! Now you're useful, Paula! No, I mean, you're already useful. Frickin' PSI Thunder rocks that battle! That's the first time I've ever actually used Thunder against the Mondo Mole. I did not realize how much damage that did. It's like, good god! Alright, let's rest up. And then we will take you back to your mom and dad, Paula. Because I am the Great Protector Ness. Oh, yeah, I totally will stay free of charge. You're not very funny. Alright. So... Let's head back. That means we have to go through Peace Forest Valley, don't we? Uh, things might get hairy, but we should be all right. There's two of us now, and we're both much more powerful than we were before. So let's do it. We will defeat any vile doers that come in our way. Troll, lol, 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 that was a magic butterfly. <laughs> tree! Watch out for that tree. Are you really trying to get me? Come on, bring it, tree. We will beat you up. Territorial oak. Um, since I'm not worried about my magic right now, I'll just go ahead and freeze the mobile sprout so it doesn't suck any PP. Good God! Thing is weak, has to be weak to freeze. That's ridiculous for 4 PP. That is insane. And it will burst into flames. And, good God. <laughs> yeah, still gotta watch out for the Territorial Oak there. Um, we'll go ahead and life up Paula. Oh, well, see? Look at that. That was easy. Blue, blue. Oops, I won't say it again. I fixed the bridge as a sign of apology. I'm just trying to help. Well, aren't you, uh, aren't you sweet? Cool. Well, that made everything so much easier getting back, didn't it? We had a whopping one battle. Although it's not over. Oh, look, little UFO! You're gonna die! Just like everything else. Because we are the train! The pain of train, yes. As soon as I think of what I'm saying. And we'll just freeze you, too. You'll die. Oh no! One HP of damage to Paula! Just freeze it. BRB. One hit killing forever. Lol. Except Mondo Mole, because he's like, Bitch, I ain't cold. I live in the dirt. What do you think? And they'll be on the same row, so they can eat a fire together. Uh, we'll go for Fire Alpha. Never mind, I should've just went with Freeze. Like a bitch ain't got nothing on me. I don't even know how long I've been recording. I should probably go check, though, once I get out of here. Yet one more cave run. Or cave room. Yes, room. Alright, give me just a second. I'm gonna see how long I've been recording, because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, apparently it was only for, like, 20 minutes, so I've got, like, another 10 minutes. Let's just go ahead and beat up these, uh, Ramblin' Evil Mushrooms. And we'll... I probably will kill it in one hit, so I'll just freeze on... Yeah. 
Everything will die just like, uh, you know, I, you know, I got nothing. I got no lyrics today, sorry. I like how they give, like, no experience now. It's kind of funny and fitting. I dropped my controller there. I wasn't paying attention. Rambling Evil Mushroom and his cohort, which is another Rambling Evil Mushroom. So, we'll kill both of them. Yep, all in a day's work. I think it was Tarin Unit 9 who said that these things can rot in the ninth circle of hell. I would have to disagree. They are problematic. And yes, the mushroomization is bad, but these guys aren't that terrible. Um, but they are pretty bad. I mean, the mushroomization is... It's bad, but it's really not that terrible. I can think of worse statuses in other games. And sure, it messes with your auto world, but, you know, it's... Did that just skip? I don't know. I'll just listen to it later. Anyway, um... Let's see how much fire does. Or, you know, Ness control me and go first. Uh, I killed in one hit anyway. But no, I can think of, um... Worse things they could have done with it. Because honestly, if the worst it does is turn your controller all sorts of different directions, then it's really not that bad if you have an actual controller. And if you're actually emulating this, then yeah, mushroomization's a bitch. That I will agree with. Um, no, it's up this way. We're almost home, Paula. I will take you there and you will be happy with your mom and your dad. Yahoo! I knew it! You saved Paula! I don't really understand it, but I know that Paula's miraculous power and your great courage will allow you to stand up to any challenge. Paula, if you must take a trip, be sure to bring this along. It's my very own hand handmade band-aid. Ooh, that rhymes. I know. I'll call it a hand-aid. Ness got the hand-aid. Did you meet Dad? He is sorry that he suspected Mr. Everdread of Berlin Park. Let's go find Dad. Oh, Paula! Ness, thank you so much. You must be the boy who will save the world, like in Paula's dream. Paula, I'm sure you'd be a big help to Ness. It's not every day a father lets his daughter embark on a journey to save the world. Dad, don't worry about... Oh, what? Never mind. Wrong person! Let's get back in character. Dad, don't worry about me. Ness and I will be able to take care of ourselves. I was wondering why he called himself Dad. He's like, Dad? In three, the next town, we'll meet another friend. If the three of us can combine our power, no one can beat us. Now, wipe your eyes, blow your nose, and smile before we take off. Goodbye, Paula. Don't worry, I won't cry anymore. Now, well, did I get the thing in Paula's room? I do not remember. Yes, yes, I did. Random fact, by the way, the bears in the uh, cave that we were just in, they actually drop uh, teddy bears. It's a rare drop, but they can drop teddy bears. Oh, what the? Hello, Ness. Everdread is looking for you. He's got something for you. Cool. <gasps> New Age Retro Hippie! Fight me! Yes! I want to defend until he flashes me with his pearly whites. Yes! He used his toothbrush! His teeth were white and, f white and fresh! The brightest of New Age Retro Hippie's teeth made the enemy scared. Ness's body solidified! Yes! I got him to do it. He used a ruler. Now he can figure out the length of things easily. Aren't you special? Did you pick that up from kindergarten? 
I figured it out. He's near the daycare. He stole the ruler from the daycare. He wanted to feel smart and special just like the daycare kids. Or excuse me, preschool kids. Alright, so where are we meeting Everdread at? Berglund Park again? I mean, he is kind of the king around there. By the way, I should totally buy that ruler that I didn't buy before. No, I do not want to buy your seasonings. No! Shut up. Shut up. Oh yeah, the other thing I forgot to mention about these is that each one, um, some, some of them will work with multiple items, uh, but multiple foods only have uh, certain condiments that they can have used with them um, to get maximum effect. Um, who had the... Yeah, I bet it does. Did you have it? Mm. No. I want a ruler. Did you have it? No. Uh, no. 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 No is no is no. You know, I don't care. Your sales pitch is awful. And your feet stink. Yes, I will buy the world's greatest ruler. I don't know why, but I always carried the ruler around. You can use this during battle. It can be used many times. So, we have a ruler. I'm going to look and see if it actually does anything, but right now I'm going to give it over to Paula. I'm also going to give the Paula over... I'm going to give the Paula over to the Hand Aid, because the Hand Aid is actually a playable character in this game, you see. I was going to ask you to be my partner, but I know you'll refuse. It's written all over your face. If you accept it, I was going to give you some money. Actually, I can't keep the money now anyway. Let me just give this to you. It's 10000 Whoa! Holy crap! $10,000? Use the money any way you like. You cannot refuse my generosity. Just accept it. Now, I plan on looking for the evil Monty Monty statue that liar exaggerate unearthed in Onet. I'll see you at another time in another space. Ness got the wad of bills. It's not actually 10,000 spendable. It is a wad of bills. Now, well, let's check it out and see what happens. Help. Wad of bills. A bundle of brand new crisp bills. Seems suspicious to me. But who would need a big... What can we do with a stack of bills that big? Hmm. Well, Paula, we're on a quest to save the world, and, uh, hmm. Who could use some money? Why don't, well, we couldn't afford a ticket last time. Why don't we, since we got all this money, why don't we go and buy ourselves a ticket to, uh, the Runaway 5 show, and then I'll end the, the uh, video. Let's see. Do you want to buy a ticket for the Runaway 5 show? Yes. Sold out. We only have box seats. Oh. They're still sold out. Let's go talk to somebody over at the Chaos Theater. And, uh, you know what? I think we'll actually do that in the next video. Yeah, we'll, uh, go talk to, uh... What's his name? The... Yeah, anyways, we'll talk to the owner of the Chaos Theater. I will see you next time. I'm Ultima Mantoid, and this is Let's Play Earthbound. Until next time, take care and have fun.